Hi, I'm John Engold and I'm the Narrative Director of Inkle. We're a small independent studio from Cambridge who specialise in narrative games. I don't think any storytelling medium has really maxed out its potential. People are always creating new ideas and new experiences, and that's just as true in video games as it is in film and books and theatre and everything else that human beings come up with. So I'm always excited to see what's the next thing that games are going to do, what's the better thing, what's the thing that makes what we were excited about yesterday seem like a prototype in comparison. That's what's so exciting for me about this medium. Inkle's been around for about 11 years now and we started with very visually simplistic text-based narratives but we always wanted to make them as responsive to the player as possible. Over the years since then we've been trying to push the envelope on what our games are like to play and how they look but we try and keep that responsiveness at the heart of everything we do. So I feel like every game is a learning experience that helps us understand the next game better. I think when you're coming up with new ideas for stories or ways to interact with a game, you're always looking for what you can build on from what you've seen in the world around you. And that might be from other games, but it's quite often from film and theatre as well. I often use books actually and think, oh, I'm reading a book, I like the world or something about this book. How might that exist in a video game format? That's quite often really useful for me as a jumping off point. But the process of developing any idea from that initial seed into something you can actually make is a pretty long and complicated one and most ideas need about 400 other ideas before they actually work. So by the time you end up with a finished product, often where you started, you know, but no one would be able to guess looking at it. So at Inkle we try to use a very experimental based process. We have ideas, obviously, and then we argue about them. We have a very small team, there's only five of us, so the idea is everybody in the room gets a voice on every issue if they want it, but somebody has ownership. So someone is the lead designer, someone is the lead writer, someone gets to say, okay, we're gonna try that idea, we're gonna leave that idea, that won't work because of this. That, that's a great idea, let's move on that. And then we build it as fast as we can, as simply as we can, and try to see how it feels. And we do that a lot. So for the game that we're working on at the moment, which is called The Highland Song, we've been through perhaps hundreds of small and large iterations on what those core mechanics need to be to work. And what we've ended up with is a balance that's not like any game I've ever played before, but it's true to itself. So I think we're always looking for that kind of internal truth. What's the simplest version of this game that really works? And then we try and hone in on that. I love characters in film, in theater, in books, and in games. I love characters, so whenever a game steps out of its mechanics and gives me characters, then I want to be in that world and I want to be with those characters. So one of my favorite experiences from 15 years ago was Uncharted 2 because it had such great characterization. It was so much fun to be in that world. Even though shooting gameplay is kind of a five out of 10 for me. Like I'm not that interested in, in doing that, but I was there because the characters were there for me. The greatest writing in a video game of all time is still 1999's The Last Express, which is a game set on the eve of the First World War aboard the Orient Express. And the influence of that game can be seen in pretty much everything that Inkle's done. And it's so character driven and it's so beautifully written. And I'm always interested to see how can games get me onto ground level, interacting with the people in this story in a way that I feel like I'm really there. That for me is the, is the core draw of making video games. One of the great things about being a really small studio is there aren't too many stakeholders to satisfy when you're taking decisions. So when it comes to writing characters, there's one writer and there's one narrative designer and they're both me. So I argue with myself about how the game needs to be and then eventually we come to a compromise and that's what goes in the game. Obviously then the rest of the team will feed back to me if a character isn't working or if a line of dialogue doesn't work or if a scene doesn't make sense. People tell me, you know, the, the whole team contributes on that just as I would talk to the artists if I felt like a character didn't look right or an environment was hard to read or something like that. And the great thing is that we can make the changes we need to make really fast. So very few problems stick around for a long time. I love working in a small team of people. It's really the best way to, to make something beautiful, I think. <laughs>